clutch derailleurs like this are super common on gravel bikes and some road bikes with a one by chainring setup. However, clutch derailleurs are not a fit and forget item because over time they're gonna wear and need adjustment. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust a clutch derailleur using this Shimano GRX derailleur as my example. So how do you know if your clutch derailleur needs adjusted? Well, if you have a derailleur like this with a switch and it's in the on position, applying some force onto the bottom of the pulley wheel cage, you should meet some resistance. If the derailleur cage moves easily or you find when you're riding over bumpy terrain, the chain is slapping and bouncing around all over the place, well, it's probably an indicator that it needs adjusted or you perhaps just haven't put the switch in the on position. To do this job, you're only going to need a few simple tools. First thing, a 2mm hex wrench. Then you're going to need either a small spanner or some long nose pliers to make your adjustment. Also, if you take the cover off and notice there's a load of crap inside, give it a wash off with some disc brake cleaner. Step one is to remove these three small 2mm hex bolts that hold the cover over the derailleur clutch. When it comes to how to make the adjustment and how much adjustment to make, well, it all comes down to this small little screw here. The more we wind this screw in, the more force it's gonna to apply to the small band which clamps around the clutch unit, which means more force is gonna be required to overcome the clutch action. And if we back this screw off, well, less force is gonna be applied, so the clutch is gonna be less effective. Now, how much we adjust this is a kind of, it depends answer. If you're riding and you're finding that the chain is bouncing around lots, well, perhaps you're going to need to wind it in a fair bit. If you're just making a minor adjustment, it could just be one or two turns. To physically make the adjustment on this small little screw, it is either a five millimeter spanner that you can use, or because there's not much force on it, you could use some small long nose pliers like this. You can just take the time. So the actual adjustment that I'm making to this bike is to tighten the clutch ever so slightly. So I've had this bike for quite a few months now. It's been and seen through lots of action and lots of tough bike rides and the clutch was a little bit loose. So I want to tighten it up and make sure my chain isn't bouncing around. So to do that, I'm going to wind the bolt inwards. A couple of simple rules to follow here. If you try to tighten the bolt too much and make the clutch too effective, one, you might not even be able to put it fully in the on position. And also, by doing that, the chances are it's gonna negatively impact shifting performance because as the derailleur is going up the cassette, the motor or lever action is gonna be fighting against the resistance created by the clutch. So once you know that you can apply the lever switch on and you've got a nice positive click and engagement, at that stage, where well, we can look to refit the rubber gasket and cover to make sure it's all sealed away from the elements, nice and tidy. To refit the rubber gasket, make sure you have it the correct way round, that all of the shapes match up with the shapes of the recess, and then carefully slide it over the mechanism and back into that recess on the back of the derailleur. Slide the cap over. Once the cap's in place, you can check that the rubber gasket is in place as well. Put the first screw back into place. No need to over tighten it, just enough to hold the cap in place while you then refit the other two. With the cover back in place, it's important to mention here that because those three bolts are particularly small, you don't want to over tighten them. We're talking one to two Newton meters at most here. And that is pretty much it, job done. What you need to do now is have a quick run through the gears to make sure everything works, check that the lever has a positive engagement to engage it on the on position, and then loosens off nice and correctly as well. But it is important to note that the clutch unit inside here is a consumable part. So if your derailleur is particularly old or the bike's had a tough life, parts inside here are gonna wear. However, most big brands will sell service kits which allow you to replace the parts inside here which wear out and then extend the life of your derailleur. Right, that's it. Hope that's cleared up any questions that you have and sorted out a process to adjust the clutch derailleur on your bike. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any future maintenance videos you'd like to see here on GCN Tech. Right, I'm out of here. See you later.